Hello sustainable growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. In this video I will uh, explain you how to avoid algae in aquaponics. So first, uh, why would you like to avoid algae in your fish tank? Uh, so there are several reasons. Uh, the first one is that obviously they are all green, sometimes they color the, the water. So there are two types of algae actually. There are the algae that are called microalgae. Uh, they are very small and they live into the water. They are floating into the water. So that's what uh, makes actually the, uh, the water green. Uh, this is also what we call the uh, phytoplankton. Uh, that's the base of uh, the uh, ecosystem uh, in the sea and into the lakes. That's the first living creature that uh, is developed into the water. And then you got some crustaceans, uh, what we call the zooplankton, some crustaceans that are going to eat those little algae. And then uh, some fish are able to eat uh, this zooplankton. So a lot of uh, aquaponics keepers don't like algae because they color the water and therefore you can't see the fish anymore, right? You can't see the water, you can't see through the water. Uh, the, other, the other reason is that uh, they compete with, uh, with the plants. Algae uh, are like vegetables, they need nitrogen to grow. And therefore, if there is some nitrate into the water, uh, the, the algae are going to consume uh, the, the nitrate. And therefore, uh, that's all the nitrate that is not going to be available for your vegetables or for your plants. So it's a competition and therefore uh, a lot of people don't want algae in aquaponics. The other reason is that uh, sometimes you got some macro algae, so algae uh, that are quite long, quite big and that you can really see. Uh, and uh, it doesn't look really nice. Uh, so it doesn't look clean, let's say. So that's all the, for all those reasons that uh, uh, most of people don't want algae into the tanks. But uh, you can be sure that algae are not a problem uh, in terms of uh, uh, health for your fish. Uh, it's not a hygiene problem neither. Uh, it's just that obviously it doesn't look good. But otherwise, uh, really, uh, uh, algae in a, in a fish tank is not a problem at all. So uh, now we see why we don't want algae. Now, uh, uh, to explain you how to avoid to have algae into your fish tank, I need to explain you what does uh, an algae need to grow. So the algae, they are like the vegetables, so they need a source of, uh, of food uh, and a source of nitrate. And in aquaponics, because we are uh, recycling uh, the, the fish poo thanks to some bacteria, we constantly produce some nitrate. So there is always some food for those, uh, for those algae in our aquaponics setup. And therefore, uh, this is a, a very good uh, area for the algae to grow. The other thing that uh, the algae need is uh, an appropriate temperature. And you got different species of algae. So even in winter, you can have some development of algae. But most of the time, uh, they grow in warm water. Uh, and especially uh, when the, when in summer, when you got a, a, a peak or uh, yeah, an increase of, uh, of your water temperature in the tank, that's when you can have uh, a bloom of algae, but the critical, uh, the critical uh, uh, need for, for, for the algae is the light, the sunlight. Because same as the vegetables, same as the plant, uh, they, they, they do some photosynthesis and that's thanks to the photosynthesis that they can, uh, they can grow, they can uh, generate energy. So um, without light, basically they can't grow. And that's basically how we maintain or we manage the, the algae development in aquaponics is simply by uh, keeping the fish tank uh, away from the, from the sunlight or, or let's say <laughs> keeping the sunlight away from the fish tank. So that's really how we manage uh, uh, the algae population in aquaponics. So if you have a tank that is exposed to the sunlight, you have to put a cover on top of it. At least you have to cover a certain part of the, of the water and in this case, there is not enough sunlight for the algae to grow. Um, if you are growing your, uh, your fish in a tank that, uh, that has got a very uh, thin, uh, that has got a very thin structure, 
uh, very thin walls, if it's a thin plastic and if it's a transparent plastic, you need to put an insulation or you need to paint uh, the plastic and that's why a lot of, uh, a lot of aquaponics keepers are, uh, are designing the aquaponics setup from an IBC setup and uh, an IBC tank, you know that's, uh, that's those uh, big uh, commercial uh, fish tanks and they basically paint the walls uh, just uh, in order to avoid the light to go through. So that's the main point. If you want to avoid algae, uh, you have to basically limit the quantity of light that is able to go into the fish tanks. And if you look at all the fish tanks I have behind, actually you can't see any. And that's the reason why I cover them. Even, uh, even the top of the fish tank you know, is covered with a, a bench. Uh, so if you leave the bench, obviously you have access to the fish tanks. Uh, but uh, the sunlight that can go through, there is a bit of sunlight that can go through the bench, but it's very limited. And the reason why is, it, is because obviously I want to leave enough sunlight to go through the tank uh, because the fish need a bit of sun, not, not too much, but they need to have access to some sunlight if they need to, so they can just stay under the, uh, under the, uh, the sun rays. But uh, there is not too much light going into the tank, so in this case uh, it really limits uh, the, the growth of algae. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, see you in the next one. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you will see that on the description of the video just below, you will have access to some free gifts. First, you have access to a six step process to be able to build your own aquaponic system in good conditions. I developed this six step process because I found that too many beginners are basically starting aquaponics with a wrong design. So if you want to build your own aquaponic setup, please just follow this uh, six uh, step process. It's completely free, right? I really designed it to help you to build your setup in good conditions and therefore to succeed in aquaponics. The second gift is for people who already have aquaponics. A very uh, common problem we have in aquaponics is that we got the leaves of the vegetables that are turning yellow. And the reason why is because Basically, in, in, uh, in aquaponics, we sometimes need to add some minerals, otherwise the vegetables have some deficiencies. So if you have this problem, I made a special video about it as well, and you can have access to it in the description of the video. It's uh, the free bonus video. Uh, if you are very interested in aquaponics, you can also have access to a webinar, uh, a free webinar specific to aquaponics. I deliver a lot of information. Finally, you are probably aware that I wrote a digital aquaponics manual called The Art of Aquaponics and you can have access to a free excerpt of this aquaponics manual where I add a lot of value and I give you a lot of my knowledge about aquaponics. So don't forget that you can have access to those four gifts on the description of the video and I'm sure they're going to help you to develop your aquaponics setup and to produce your own sustainable and healthy food in good conditions. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!